All right, I'm convinced at this point that Adam Glass should just not write any episodes, and he's not going to for much longer. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for episode 18 of season 8 of Supernatural, Freaks and Geeks, and this episode sucks, guys. Uh, we just went from a really good one back to a bad one. We went from crap to great to crap again, and I do blame quite a bit of that on Adam Glass. Adam Glass at this point had been writing for Supernatural for some time. He started back in season 6 with a bunch of ehs, if not duds. Two and a half men, all dogs go to heaven, like a virgin, mommy dearest. It all makes sense now why I hated that episode. Defending your life, adventures of babysitting, ba party on Garth from season seven. He just kind of sucks, guys. This episode has so many narrative issues, it's kind of insulting. Freaks and Geeks is the return of the Chrissy character. The whole idea is that Chrissy has gotten in with this group of yo other young hunters who have become orphaned due to vampires, and there's this guy called Victor, this very old weird dude who apparently his entire family died, and he's bringing them together to harness that anger and instead direct it towards training and their own studies. All of that seems pretty okay, except some of the deaths are kind of inconvenient, like when Dean and Sam come and interrupt one of the killings, Vampire has no idea what's going on, and what it turns out is that it's all this convoluted plot by Victor to have had killed all of their family so he could take them in, all the while making friends with a vampire and trying to take the moral high ground. It's just so stupid. When everything falls apart at the end of the episode, it's kind of like, well, what the fuck did you think was going to happen? Also, a little side trivia note, the guy who plays Victor actually voiced Hathen Kenway in Assassin's Creed 3. That's probably one of the most interesting things I can glean to you from this episode. The fights with the vampires aren't that great. The acting is okay. Right when you saw the previously on and you saw Chrissy and you're like, oh yeah, I remember that episode. I remember that she wasn't really that good in it. It's not much better in this one. The chemistry between her and the other kids is okay. Her and Dean still have some decent banter. You're never too young to kill monsters. Especially the ones that kill your family. Hunting isn't all about killing and revenge. I thought we had this chat last time. Wow. But when the episode comes to an end, it just feels very flat, and I do very much blame that on the dialogue. From the first interaction that Dean and Sam have, which is, I have a note, that terrible dialogue. Casting Jeff pretty good. And? And I just want to make sure you're okay. What, like my feelings? Why don't I go get some uh, herbal tea? Okay. And you can find some cowboy junkies on the dial. Eat me, Dean. And you know what? We'll just talk it out. To the part of the end where she's like, oh, he's like a brother to me. Aiden? No. I mean, he's like my brother. It's nothing like that. And I'm like, ew. Like, and then I'm kind of like, well, is she playing that off to try and be like, no, it's not really anything to Dean. But then just how she delivers it, it makes it sound like it's genuine. And then it reinsinuates the fact that there is a relationship maybe there with. He's like my brother. It's nothing like that. I don't know. This episode just has so many boring factors to it that there's not many good parts to it. If anything, no good parts to it. I don't feel that anything really flows well in it. It's a very rudimentary episode. It has even less actual matter to the story than the last piece of shit episode did. Very much a filler episode. This is an Andrew Dabb filler caliber of filler episode. So in the end, I'm gonna be pretty brutal on this one as well. Freaks and Geeks gets a two out of seven from me. This was pointless and we would never see the Chrissy Chambers character again we would never see any of these kids again also I didn't even mention how just stupid it is that Victor kills himself at the end oh no anyway last week you know so how the hell are those kids gonna maintain that house oh sure she turns 18 who's gonna pay the fucking rent but those are my thoughts about this episode I'm very interested to see what you guys have to say Freaks and Geeks is another episode I love in concept more than execution. The twist of a mentor hunter twisting trauma and motive to, uh, to the next generations of hunters is compelling, but sadly, Chrissy is the only interesting kid of the bunch. Ugh. Mainly because she established she has established chemistry with Dean. It's rare when we have humans as villains in Supernatural, but it's even more rare when the hunters are the villains of the episode. I love it for its uniqueness, but it's a filler episode that reminds me why Wayward Winchesters needed Chrissy as a part of the women hunters. 
I can actually agree that yes, this would have been a good idea. However, it was absolutely terribly executed. I have one nitpick for this episode, but first let's talk about everything that's great about it. There's, there's not a lot. First, it's always sweet to see Dean in a big brother-father role to everyone younger than him. Okay, I'll give you that. I also like that Sam was concerned for Dean after his brainwashed BFF nearly killed them him, then ditched him, and is now ghosting him. I totally understand why Dean didn't want to talk about it. I find that episodes where the villain is just an ordinary human are very haunting and dark, but also nice twists and are some of the more interesting great episodes in the season, in the series. And I can agree with that. For the nitpick, though, it's really just the last lines in the episode where Sam and Dean say they should go get back to the trial so the kids like Chrissy and others won't have to suffer the same ordeals, but that doesn't make any sense. Humans and monsters are, were the focus of the, of the episode, and the reason those kids were got wrecked. Closing gates, hell, <laughs> hell's gates doesn't prevent any of that from happening. If it had been demons then, it would have made sense, but aside from the context, that line sort of lessens what the brothers are doing. That's a really good point. That's a really, really, really good point. <laughs> it was interesting seeing Chrissy again and still living the hunter life and that she was working with the kids, uh, other kids. Madison McLaughlin did a good job in the role. Eh, I, I knew that something was off about the mentor Victor from the beginning, especially when he said he said those disrespectful things about Garth and Bobby. He was right about Martin. I really love seeing Dean as a big brother mentor figure role, and here he's right what Chrissy and her friends are doing is dangerous. Glad he and Sam realized the truth and helped. I was surprised what I wasn't surprised what Victor did to himself after he got exposed, even though they were still kids. I get why Dean and Sam accepted their choice to remain together. I would have liked to see uh, seen Chrissy again, but unfortunately she does not appear in the show ever again. No, she does not. She just disappears off the face of the earth. Episode had an interesting premise, but ultimately goes nowhere. Victor seemed like an interesting character, only to be a complete evil mastermind, if that. Had a speech ready and everything. And also, man, the kids acting go from smug prick to bad not great. I uh, very much agree. I really don't get why the brothers changed their minds about letting the kids hunt. The last one, this episode is meh. The episode exploring the next generation of hunters could have worked if they did do, if they did that, if they did do that, the surprise twist you could see right away. Nah, yeah, good point. All right, guys, that's it for me. We're now moving on to episode 19, Taxi Driver. And I'm seeing from the reviews here that this one is definitely a lot better, hopefully. But at the same time, we are now moving into the final five, guys. Especially now that season eight just took a dip again in the overall percentage. It's fighting with season seven right now. That should be enough for me to say. But in the end, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like. And if you're interested in more, subscribe. Until then, see you guys next week.